Do you guys hear this freaking helicopters near my house again? Wow, it was very close. Anyway, guys, hey, it's Brooke here, and um, I know I've been gone for a while. I've been on vacation, and I had a great time. Um, but near the end of the vacation, um, it kind of ruined my night because um, I was, you know, having a good time, and I went to the bathroom, and um, someone stole my purse, so I had to spend a lot of time um, getting my IDs and stuff back. And just doing a lot of running around after we left um, from the vacation. And also I caught another cold. You see, this is how I know for sure that we're under attack. Because um, I've never gotten three colds in a span of nine to ten months. Like every few months I caught a cold. And that has never, ever, ever happened to me in my entire life. I usually catch one bad cold a year. But this year, I caught three. This is the third one, so I'm trying to recover from that. So, also, I'm starting a new job soon as well, so I've been really, really busy. Also, I've been in the gym, and I've been working on my, practicing my art, so sorry, guys, if I haven't been making a lot of YouTube videos. I've been swamped. Um, also, I'm trying to recover from this cold, so I've been in the gym just trying to sweat it out um, because, uh, I have a lot to do and I have a lot going on, but guys, um, I will be posting some more videos, um, soon. I just want to say that I had a lot of powerful dreams lately that I want to talk to and share with everybody. Um, I had a great time on my vacation except for the part where, um, someone stole my bag, but that's okay because I read my own tarot on that situation to see the spiritual significance of it. And every, I believe everything happens for a reason, that that happened for a particular reason for me um, as a lesson to teach me to not to um, get too attached to this identity that I have. That's what I got out of that situation. I was really pissed off that someone stole my stuff, but luckily they didn't, they didn't get a lot of money because I didn't have a lot of money in my bag. Um, they just got a bunch of my IDs and my... Um, uh, my, some makeup items and stuff, but my fiance was really generous enough to um, pretty much buy all that stuff back for me and take me around to get my IDs back. Um, he's so sweet. Him and his mom, I have to give them a shout out because they were really nice. Um, very, very nice, generous people because that was, that really sucked. Like I was having a really, really great time. And at the last night when we went out to um, this club, in the hotel. It was 90s night and I literally got lost in the past and you know I went to the bathroom to wash my hands and put my bag down and next thing I know my bag is gone. So that had a spiritual significance saying that I get too lost in the past. That's what my tarot said when I read my own tarot. My own tarot said I got a pentacles card and I got a cups card and my heart is too lost in the past and I'm too attached to things in this world that I have to sometimes just let some things go and that was my lesson that you know sometimes I spend too much time in my own mind pondering the past and and I was really angry that that happened but I have to understand that everything happens for a reason and I did get all my stuff back like I um you know, I replaced everything and I'm still waiting on some cards in the mail. It's sad that I just got my medical marijuana card and that was in the bag that someone stole. <laughs> so I had to reorder it again and I'm still waiting on it and I'm dying to have some marijuana because I my anxiety is so like there. <laughs> my sleeping's getting better, but my anxiety was so bad. I did not have any more CBD oil and I was just like, oh my God, I was just praying for just just to calm my temper down. I was so angry and distraught. But anyway, so my cards are coming back in the mail and I need time to recover from my cold again. I really do know now from my dreams that I've seen it in my dreams that I am under demonic attack. Um, I'm under severe demonic attack because um, there are people that are praying demons on me. Um, that's what I saw in my dreams. Also, I was visited by a lot of family members, and I'm also getting a lot of help from the ancestors. And my family members who, who passed over to the spiritual realm are 
watching me. Like, I'm really under the microscope right now because um, I have a lot to go through on my spiritual journey. So I'm under the microscope with my ancestors and they're helping me and they're trying to guide me. But also there is a demonic force that has been attacking me. Um, and I saw them in my dreams and um, they're keeping me imprisoned in this weird reality that is similar to my own but they have me trapped in the past and I actually fought the demon in my dreams so I'm really proud of myself that I'm I'm starting to realize that in my dreams I have full control over my own mind I actually stood up and fought the demon the demon looked like a little a little Caucasian girl with long blonde hair with razor sharp teeth she was half like she kind of like a dinosaur a reptilian uh, also a, a little girl it was really weird but this demonic entity has been keeping me trapped in my in my grandparents house where I grew up and I actually fought her and then that's when I realized you can fight demons if you are strong enough and if you meditate and prepare yourself for dreams at night and if you really teach your own mind that you have full control over your mind you might not be able to do everything you want in the matrix until you master your own mind. Once I'm starting to believe in my mind that I am the God and I am the, the, the God of my own universe in my mind and in my soul, I am my own universe inside of me through the power of the Most High. In my own dream, I started to gain consciousness and they don't like that. See, the Matrix, the demons in the Matrix, they don't like that. They don't like you gaining consciousness. So I'm under heavy demonic attack because they don't want me to continue to gain consciousness because... I'm traveling through the astral planes and, and, you know, and they see that and anybody that has light that are truthers and really tapping into the deeper meaning of the spiritual, um, it's the deeper spirituality and understanding that this world isn't real. Anybody who's really deep into truth is going to go under attack by these demons. So they're trying to attack me and I actually fought back and punched that shit in the face and, and shook it off and say, leave me the fuck alone. That's what I said to the demon. And the demon got scared. And that's when I realized, oh my God, I'm more powerful than these demons. All my life I've been taught by these religions that I ain't shit against these demons. I got to call on gods I don't understand. But once I understood that I am part of God, I am an aspect of the most high, the, op- the, the most high operates through me. I can take down demons. And I did last night when I had my dream. I also been having a lot of dreams about being in a dirt arena, which is really, really crazy. And I'm praying to God that I'm not in a cloning center. But this was clear as day that I was in this place and I saw celebrities. I saw Kenan and Kel from, I know this sounds random and crazy, but I saw Kenan and Kel from um, um, Good Burger and all that from the 90s. And I saw a bunch of celebrities and I was in this like circus or arena. It looked like a little circus and everyone was singing and dancing, but I was standing barefoot in dirt. So if anyone has any information about that, I'm not sure if I was just having some weird dream or if I'm really at a cloning center because I still don't, I'm not even sure. I do know I had encounters with demons and aliens and stuff, but I had some very clear dreams this week that I was hanging out with Keenan and Kel in the circus like area where I had I was barefoot and there was a bunch of celebrities and it was this big party going on and it's some tent thing it was really weird it was like a circus thing going on so I'm not sure if I was at a cloning center or what spiritual significance that had but I saw some celebrities in my dreams again and I need to I'm on this this truth seeking path so heavily and this is why I'm getting attacked by these demons, because these demons, when I was in Atlantic City, I saw demons. There's a lot of demons in Atlantic City. And I had my senses were telling me like my heart was telling me, man, there's so much demonic activity here. And I was like, yeah, you know, I feel it in my heart, but I'm still going to try to have fun. And the very last night before we had to leave the next morning, somebody stole my bag. And that shit was crazy. And I'm like, you know, I knew something was going to happen. Because these demons are very, very ferocious in Atlantic City. I mean, there's so many people, and I saw it with my heart and my spirit caught the energy of the demonic energy. I have to burn some sage and do some ritual because I just got back and I'm sick as a dog. And this is my third time getting sick. And this is how I know 
that I'm being attacked heavily and that the ancestors, what's happening to me is that um, I'm getting sick so much because I'm constantly being attacked by the dark forces that the ancestors have to, I have to get sick to cleanse out my body so my body can cleanse itself of the dark energies, if you catch my drift. So getting sick is actually good because I'm cleaning out my body of the attacks and um, they're attacking me because I am tapping into some serious truth. When you realize that you're really tapping into something serious or something powerful, that's when I start to realize some bullshit starts happening in my life. So that means that I'm on the right track, you know, that means I'm on the right track. So I'm going to keep digging. Last night, I saw two entities in my room. I was wide awake and sleep at the same time. And it was two ancestors. One was my brother and one was uh, uh, my grand grandma and my grandfather. And they were made out of trans.